Sarasota fly fishing report for July 1st. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Beautiful. So, you don't know, but since I last posted, I switched from snook to tarpon last week. And the conditions were very unfavorable. The fish were there big time. They were popping in close to the shoreline. I'm trying to remember the tide. I think it was fairly high, but the west we had a west wind. So we had weed. We had total discoloration of the water. And we had wind. And Every time you make a cast, every other cast had weed. So I fished them um, one, two, three days. I fished them um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday last week. And they went from really good, being there good. The wind brought the shrimps or the bait out to, uh, couldn't read the bait, but uh, Thursday, uh, few more fish, bit, slightly better conditions, but um, I was trying to make adjustments. I got a gurgler out because they're they're up they're up at a good t at a lot of the time in the morning, and the gurgler didn't seem to work. I had a black fly on Friday. Now all this I I don't know. On by the time Friday came, I was totally humiliated, but the wind was getting better. And Sunday came, and there was a couple mornings where it was totally overcast, no wind for a, a lot of the time. And so, it turns out I go Monday, which is today, and the conditions totally cleaned up. I mean, the weed was gone, which it was kind of gone on Friday. Less weed, no wind, but it was still murky, and they didn't see the fly. So today was cleaner no weed no wind it was like perfect and if you watch the videos called uh, what I had was three th one one to th uh, one to three on tarpon today m means I had three bites and caught one and uh, the last one was a beauty a real chunker um, but you can see that's one whole edited fishing experience from I'm gonna say from probably from 6 10 in the morning to uh, for 40 minutes so to about hmm, I know it's not much later than 7.20 when I hooked up. So uh, I had, you saw that, hopefully you saw the two bites. And I went through four flies to get there. What happened was they were just seeming to stay outside my cast, as always, just like mullet. And uh, I could bullet a cast out if I wanted to, but they were also rolling in really, really close at the end of my rod. So I didn't want to overpower every cast trying to get to maybe a fish that I can't really see it way out there. So I tried everything. I think I had a bite on a couple different flies. I, I have an idea what works. I left the fly on for, for tomorrow. The fish I caught today, didn't even chafe the fly. He was, uh, I didn't even retie that fly. It got pulled either, he missed the fly or it got pulled out of his mouth early on. And I was able to nail him because, uh, nail the fish all the way and land him. All because he was kind of flesh hooked near the mouth. A uh, piece of skin and that's a really sharp little gamakatsu. And, uh, for a tarp, little tarpon, you don't need a big hook, and uh, that one found its place. And uh, you saw many jumps I got out of the fish. It was like 
super spectacular. So, mm, I'd like to uh, put my preference on waiting and uh, early morning stealth again. Uh, I was in fish for 45 minutes constantly they were I was surrounded by them actually the whole time so uh, that's the update uh, I would really love to make the ringling flats uh, no motor zone there was no boats in sight nobody in sight the way the, way the morning started it was uh, I guess the perfect tarpon morning so uh, grateful to God and strength to go do it and hope it happens again so that's the update for uh, July 1st and happy 4th of July